Hi everyone, I'm Laurencio, and in this video I'm going to talk about all Blood Rain games for the PS2. Blood Rain sounds like some dude stood at the table and said, okay, how do we make the ultimate video game? And one of them said, oh, it should definitely have zombies. And another one said, and a hot protagonist. That's also a vampire. And another one, oh, and the character should have guns and shoot Nazis and then they said that's it that's the greatest video game ever and started developing and for some reason it seems that they put a lot of effort in the moaning and slurping sounds of the protagonist not only that the main character moans but the enemies moan too and it gets weird I mean just hear this <coughs> And it, this moaning and slurping gets repeated all over the game. But as for the gameplay, it's surprisingly good. You have sword attacks, a chain attack with which you can attract enemies, and gun attacks. And you also get some special abilities like slowing down time. And even if the game might look like an uncohesive mess, it isn't. The gameplay is surprisingly good. I mean, it's far from being a masterpiece, but still, it's not bad. Though the mapping of the controls are uncomfortable. Your main attack is with the shoulder button. And sure, the moaning sounds would make you want to play the game somewhere where others don't hear what you play. Or else they might think you're watching some porn while also watching an action movie in the background. But aside of the weird, slightly sexual parts of the game that are pretty frequent, and the animations that give you the impression of a cheap game, Blood Rain is surprisingly solid. And in Blood Rain 2, you can see the better production value. The game remained essentially the same. It's the same moaning, slightly sexual experience. Actually, it's more sexual this time. Where you beat everyone up type of game. And just like in the first one, even if the sexual parts can get weird, the gameplay still remains solid. This time around, Rain has to save the day from her family. They release some sort of chemical into the sky that allows vampires to lurk even on daylight. And now, Rain goes after her siblings to kill them and save humanity, while sucking the blood out of all of the humans she encounters. The game is improved though. You get more moves, and some annoying animations from the first one were redone. The attack button is finally the square button, which is more comfortable, and Rain has multiple outfits you can unlock, and you can even unlock movies and concept arts too. Which is an improvement, is a step up from the first one because the first one had nothing of this one. Also boss battles are more interesting, and you get new abilities. And the redone animations look way better. Overall, if it sounds interesting what I told you till now, you can give the games a try. They are not masterpieces, but sure are solid. And the games even have a fanbase. And the first game even generated comic books and even movies. So there are many people praising the franchise. So yeah, if you're into vampire stuff, or if you liked what you saw in the video, then try out the games, maybe you like them. As I said, their gameplay is solid. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I do. Thanks for watching.